Breaking the Wall of Exercise Mimetics, Borja Martinez Teles, Falling Walls Lab, Spain. Can all the audience stand up, please? Yes? Also at home, man, stand up, okay. Now, can you all sit down? Thank you. This movement, it is a very easy and common gesture that we constantly perform in our lives. However, for our elders, it is a very difficult and painful gesture. The difficulty of this movement is caused by a disease called sarcopenia. Sarcopenia is a degenerative disease in which the mass and strength of muscles are lost by aging, which impairs their quality of life. The prevalence of this disease is large. One out of five adults above 55 years old suffering from it. It means that probably around 20% of this auditorium is already suffering or will suffer sarcopenia without notice. Patients with sarcopenia have a higher risk of depression, cardiovascular events, and they die sooner compared to people without sarcopenia. Therefore, we need to tackle this problem as soon as possible. So far, the only effective therapy to increase muscle mass and muscular strength is a strength training. However, for patients with sarcopenia, they cannot practice exercises on a daily basis because they are really weak. Therefore, they cannot access to the beneficial effects of exercise training, and we need to find alternatives. But what about if we develop exercise mimetic interventions? It sounds like an unbreakable wall, doesn't it? I believe that this wall can be broken thanks to the trillion of bacteria that live in our gut. We have performed metagenomic sequences analysis in feces from young and elderly adults and found that a gut-specific bacterium is strongly related to higher muscle mass and muscular strength. To confirm our discovery, we isolated this bacterium, cultured it, and gave it to mice. Surprisingly, just after four weeks of treatment, mice enhanced their muscle metabolism and increased their muscular strength by a 30% without doing any type of exercise. These effects seems to be mediated by the unique capacity of this microorganism to produce intestinal amino acids. This bacterium proves that the wolf of exercise mimetic therapies can be broken. And based on that, the ultimate goal of my own research group is to identify more exercise mimetic interventions, introduce them into different fields, and give them to patients that suffer from muscle loss. For instance, patients with cancer, type 2 diabetes, even people who are in wheelchairs, and of course, our elders. These exercise mimetic products will be a game changer, since these products will provide with the muscle mass and the muscle energy that all these patients need to stand up from their chairs with the same energy that all of you stood up three minutes ago. This bacterium will become in the first exercise mimetic interventions, opening a completely new research field, and I hope I can contribute to it. Thank you so much. <laughs>